Hi guys, in this video we'll be discussing kidney failure, kidney dialysis, the advantages and disadvantages of dialysis, and finally a summary. In other videos we talk about how important the kidney is in regulating blood water levels. What happens in kidney failure is that the kidneys can no longer properly remove waste substances from the body or control the water and salt content of the blood. So when the kidneys don't work, waste substances can build up in the blood. People with kidneys that don't function properly may not be able to control their water and salt content. However, people with kidney failure can be treated, and this is by organ transplant or by kidney dialysis. Kidney dialysis is one way to keep a person alive even if their kidneys are failing. This is because a dialysis machine plays a role of a healthy kidney. This means it does the job that the kidneys normally do. And this is what a dialysis machine looks like. So how does it do this? Well, the dialysis machine contains dialysis fluid. It's useful to think of this as ideal blood, has the same concentration of dissolved ions and glucose as healthy blood. So this is dialysis blood, and it has the ideal concentration of sugar, glucose, and other ions needed in the body. It also contains no waste substances like urea or excess ions and water. The dialysis machine is hooked up so that the patient's blood flows parallel to the dialysis fluid. This is the diagram of how a dialysis machine works. So this arrow represents dialysis fluids going in. This arrow represents dialysis fluids going out. These pink arrows represent the flow of the blood. The blood flows from the person and comes back to the person. A partially permeable membrane allows small molecules to pass between these two fluids. And these two fluids are the dialysis fluid and the blood. So this partially permeable membrane has small holes which allows the entry and exit of molecules. And this happens because there's a concentration gradient for the movement of waste substances, such as urea and excess ions and water, from the blood to the dialysis fluid. So the patient has an excess of ions, water and urea, and this is at a higher concentration. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE biology and combined science videos, just click the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.